It's so exciting to see an initiative like here at Rotoroa working to preserve the biodiversity and the native and endemic species in New Zealand, almost like a, a, a Noah's Ark uh, that can then continue to, to repopulate this island with the incredible natural heritage that was almost lost so many years ago. I get an opportunity to travel around the world and see a lot of the challenges that we face. The decline in biodiversity is one of the biggest ones. And it's a crisis that affects all of us everywhere. And to be able to come to a place that is at the vanguard of conservation and working to reverse that trend and to protect biodiversity here in New Zealand gives me a great deal of hope. One of the things that I particularly love about Rotoroa and the story here is that for much of the last century it was a refuge for alcoholics to help them recover from that sickness. And now, as opposed to being a refuge and a rehabilitation center for human beings, it has become a refuge and a rehabilitation center for the wildlife here in New Zealand. And being able to walk around these fields and see the efforts that have gone into eradicating the rats and the mice and replanting so many, up to 400,000 trees here on the island, all native and endemic species, and reintroducing kiwi, and so many of the, the, the incredible creatures that, uh, that, are, that are suffering so heavily under the threat and the impact of the invasive species. Uh, this refuge is, is like a paradise, an oasis. And it's of course part of a, of a bigger mission. And as I have learned about the vision for 2050 here in New Zealand to eliminate invasive pests here in New Zealand by 2050 and to restore this incredible, gorgeous country to its more natural state and to give refuge and an opportunity for the native and, and endemic species to recover and rebound and, and fill the skies with, with this bird song that, that has all but been lost. It also fills me with hope because uh, it shows that there's ingenuity and opportunity for humanity to stand up against the greatest challenges that we face and solve them and build a better world, not only for ourselves, but for our children as well. I encourage everybody to come out here if you have the opportunity. It's just one hour outside of Auckland and uh, to think that something like this, a gem, uh, exists so close to that city is, is really exciting. Mm -hmm.